Welcome back to the Sound for More channel. It's Leo speaking. Today I have the pleasure to introduce you to Combusta from Bipstrait. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe because it helps with growing the channel. And if you would like to participate in the giveaway, please do check the description um, of the video because it contains instruction on how to enter the giveaway. Okay, thank you very much again. So we are inside AUM. And we are going to create an audio channel and we are going to select as insert effects combustor like so. Interesting name. It is from the Bipstreet, the developer of Drumbos. So always very good quality up from Bipstreet. Okay, let's uh, load several um, audio sources and then we are going to test it with uh, different audio sources and see how it goes. Okay, let's open up the AUM keyboard and there it is. As you can see, nice uh, interface, nice and simple. It's a time bending resonator effect. So starting from the top, you have a selection of some of the preset, nice and simple. And then you can move back and forward. You can click plus, of course. And if you click plus, you save the preset, of course, and you give it a name. Then you have an enveloped follower which you can uh, adjust the attack and release, and it is going to impact the tuning and the filter here on the combustor. You can select the to change the input level, and then on the combustor section here, you can adjust the tuning here in terms of pitch, which you can also do that via MIDI as well. Be careful in terms of sending it out of... Um, well, to get undesired results, you can uh, change the feedback in terms of uh, the length, the filter, of course, the time bending, and it can be positive or negative, so it will change the routing inside the combustor itself, and then the resolution, which act as a decimeter. And finally, you have an output dry and wet effect. So let's try it. So input level, double we'll click, set to default. Okay, adjust the tuning now on the envelope follower. Adjust the filter. Adjust the release, let's make it short. Okay, now let's act on the feedback. You wouldn't think this is a piano, right? Let's adjust the filter. Time bending. Resolution acts as a decimator. Let's listen. And you can create definitely effects that you you cannot achieve with other synth and effects. And of course, you can adjust your drive and wet uh, settings. <laughs> Let's change some uh, of the preset and let's listen. Now let's try it with some drums actually and see what it sounds like because uh, the great thing of this effect is that you can get something very interesting even with dry drum sounds which is uh, really nice so let's choose for uh, um, hammerhead like so and let's connect it to uh, the uh, keyboard like so and um, let's also decrease a little bit of the volume otherwise it will be a little bit too loud 
and let's go to the init preset. Let's play. Really interesting. Act MIDI. Let's try a preset related to drum, this foil drum. Let's load a preset in uh, Hammerhead. Okay, okay, let's go back to the init preset and let's change again the um, audio source. This time let's go for something like vocal, like, uh, why not, Pipa. Okay, we open it up, we select um, a different preset. We connect it to the keyboard. Okay, let's see what we can get, like so. a uh, faulty spring. And the synth spice one. Nice, interesting. Okay, let's change again the audio source. Let's go for something like um, um, Steel Guitar Pro. Okay, let's connect it again to uh, the AUM keyboard and let's go to the init preset and let's play with it. Again, very interesting. Let's try it again with uh, something again uh, very different, like uh, Red Strike, uh, which I always like. So let's go for uh, resetting 
the any preset like so let's connect to the keyboard again and uh, let's play <laughs> Okay, I'm sure you can do a lot um, with Combustor and you can have a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed the demonstration and short tutorial. And as always, see you next time. Bye.